Ah, for once, it's an afternoon wipe, not 6am in the morning, and while that means we have all the boys on from the get-go, something we haven't had for a hot minute. And, well, we honestly are going to bloody need it this wipe. I have a massive plan we're about to undertake, and it's going to need a lot of persistence and a whole bunch of luck to achieve. But more on that later. First, we really needed a perfect build spot for this to work. Think a high traffic area, but not too high traffic. Just right. So you see all yeah, those strange. like hills, like in the middle of the snow there? I swear that's going to be covered with nodes. Like all around that <coughs> Q9. It's going to be full of nodes. Nice try, try and get this AI here. Let's try to get a team real quick. Okay, I'll make team. Yeah, you mm -hmm. make it best you make it. Yep, you're all invited. Let's kill this guy. Oh, boys, this spot is perfect. Up on this hill looking over sewer. Oh, yeah. Now, we decided to build on this hill right here for a few very specific reasons. Now, the obvious first being the proximity to a rad town, sewer branch. Now, the second is the ease of access to fresh water through this lovely river, meaning we could make some teas, which will be very important in achieving our goal in the future. And lastly, and probably most importantly, this large flat ground right down the hill near Bandit Camp, a higher traffic area. We wanted to build a Walmart in Rust, and like any good business, location is key. And I think we have a winner here. However, we wouldn't know that for a fair while here. At the core of any Walmart, it needs a wide variety of product to sell. And at the moment, we have a couple of bows to our names. So let's change that. Rebo's about to... Okay, Rebo just killed him. Now push. Rebo's the one in the back. Yeah, I'm, I'm pushing on to the power line for cover. Rebo's hit. Rebo. Rebo down, Rebo down. His friend's hit as well. Headshot. Hit bow, hit bow close to me. He's dead. One more dead. There's one naked on the Rebo body. That naked with a bow. He's, he's dead, dead. He's nice, 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 nice. The rest just all ran down the coast by the looks of it. No, it's still on me, AD. Just grab, grab these bodies. 150 scrap, oh, metal doors. Yeah, 60 grab scrap, Revo. Just grab everything. We just own this monument now for a bit. Now, we already had a few blueprints on this server already, meaning all we really needed to do was run a few card rooms to get basic components and the scrap for workbenches, and we would essentially have guns. And while I was doing that, Evie and the rest of the team were working on expanding the base. If we wanted to set up a business this grand, we would need a safe place to store all of our product until it sold. So a defendable base was our number one priority. Alright, what did we get? Right, I got blue card. 100 scrap. 400 metal frags, actually. So that's another side, pretty much. I'm just running airfield now. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure we just, yeah, literally make an AK. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You guys make AK, go down there with AK. Sorry, white knight. Had to get, had to get dinner organized, you feel? Otherwise, I won't eat. Dinner organized? Are dinner. you a psychopath? Yeah, dude. What do you mean? We. <laughs> no dinner would fuck us. Bro, it's white, bro. I have an ice cough, like, that's white. That's the Who's menu. There's an airdrop. Like, on you, Tesla. Yeah. Literally on top of you. One dead. Nice. One on the horse. horse hit him twice. twice. I've hit him twice as well with Revo. Maybe like one shot. Hit him again. Hit him again, he's dead. Easy. Nice. Wait, they've got open so large shit. fernies. Do we just go over and can take them with the AK? Yep. Yup, 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 yup. Yeah. I'm running up to them with DB right now. Are you going up now? Yeah, I'm running up with DB. I'm gonna see if I can snag him. They're in the supermarket. You have to give me a sec. Hit one three. This one of us running in on me? Yep. They're going to the roof. With, yeah, yeah, I'm uh, holding roof. Down. Be quick. Roof is low. Killed it, has he? One on me. Taking my side. He yeah, open that top door. Yeah, yeah. I'm holding roof. I'm holding roof on the the other side. Okay. Just be quick. Whatever you get. I'm looting. I'm looting. I'm looting. Give me a sec. Because they got spawns, remember? So much metal. Yeah, the stores are. Grab it all. Just grab it all. I'm, I'm here watching. Okay. Just Back up. Down, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's all run. All run together. 
Now, negotiation isn't my strong suit, and these guys aren't just going to pack up and leave if I asked. And so honestly, the raid wasn't going to be all that difficult. With us controlling sewer for the most part and running airfield a few times, we had more than enough scrap for a tier 3 and we had already learnt explosive ammo. So after a tad bit of farming, we could craft up enough explosive bullets to raid our first set of competition. And they were obviously well and truly underprepared. And like any typical big corporation, we had no time for the little guy. They needed to be removed to better our business, and that's just what we were gonna do. <laughs> Guys and I have been through the trenches, man. Like I remember, Gaz and I have been through the trenches. To be on par through with what we trenches. get put through is like we'd have to lose this, <laughs> then some other random group would have to come found <laughs> our base. <laughs> Admin, and then the admin would accidentally wipe our BP. Um, 80? That's up what, on the hill? Just start yeah. fragging. The they've seen us, they've seen us, they've seen us. us. One's dead. Get that guy twice. That guy. He's run, He's holding the power. He's he's push this guy and kill him. running the power. I'm just pushing to his right and killing him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, above oh. me. I'm dead. One dead. I'm really low. I'm down, I'm down. So, someone's gonna Bye. kill that guy at the power. Yeah, I know, I got power looking at me now. Hold up. I'm gonna need you power. I'm being shot. You might oh. be able to pick me. Whoever's you might down below you. Yeah. I'm oh, safe. Okay, no, no, I'm ba I'm back up. I'm back up. P2 is hunting on this time. Forty seconds. Bro, I'm gonna die. Wait, where's P2? P2 is dead. Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. On the roof, Dirk. Oh, I'm so dead. Um, Anyone I'm alive? Dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm alive. I killed. Oh, I killed one, but not the other. There's another one there, low. I'm, I'm that going up PC, power, like. there's like a... Yes. I think yeah, he's dead, he's Chai, you want to come up with me to sewer and get these bodies that we killed? I'm get those bodies at sewer. Okay, I'm let's go, let's go. Bit, you know. Let's raid, let's raid. Just don't worry about this run. guy then. Full, full, full in, man. Well, we can't run, we can't, we can't leave, we've got to raid. We're already here. Uh, one's behind close TC naked with a satchel and then they've got like one Someone star left in the base. I'm just kind of like using their peaks to look towards sewer. Just let me explode this first one, please. Let me start, just so we get the right amount. Care power, care towards power as well. They might have had a couple that were out. Okay, go know. up. I'm going up. Just keep a 360 all around the place. Okay, I'm gonna grenade down there. Just hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. Killed a bunch. Wait, wait. Go, go down now. Go down now. Go, go, go. Okay, look up. Are they all dead? All dead, all dead, all dead, all dead. Everything in all bags. Okay, we just go work on bags, and everyone come outside. There is a guy up in the top floor somewhere. TC bro. Where do you come in? One second. Give me the hammer, I'll damn demo you keep the AK out. Yeah, he had it all. Oh, you dirty little bastard. Look at you. Yeah, I think Evie should research okay. straight down and get rocket BP. With yeah, that yeah, definitely got rocket. These guys had a decent amount of profit here, but the main win here was they were out of our area now, meaning we would find it much easier to get our operation up and running. Now the icing on the cake here, we would also get the first heli off wipe uncontested because these guys were no longer an issue to us. It's coming right to work. Yeah, get that yeah. shit. Just get on That's the roof. Right. I think we're... Oh, wait, we have roof, roof access or is it just... I hit yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going up. I hit I'm, it I'm, getting, oh, I'm getting inside yeah, yeah. here. It's down. Down. Oh, ooh, nice. Okay, so that's good. One C4 rockets. Uh, good attachments. So, drive. <laughs> oh! Since we were essentially gifted some explosives here for free and we had a fair bit left over from the other raid, we decided to quickly take out another group in our area. The big corporation needed to stomp out all the little rodents around us. Still open? Yep, they've one sheet door. Okay, they've sealed their TC in. Um, hold up, I'm gonna see for this. They're in this. Are they out as connected? No, they're not. We could just break no. the TC. I'm dead. There's one alive, one alive, one alive dead. Dude, I'm dead. Yeah, there's bro. only. Weird. There's one. Who's he'd alive be dead outside? Too. He'd be dead too. No, he's not dead. He's still in there. He's not dead. What? I'm coming over what, with, what you? with another AK. In the, the guy that sealed himself That's in. Here. Oh, what's in it? Oh, you're in metal. Well, Break TC and seal it in. Sorry, like, yeah, you're yeah, in Break TC and seal it in. Oh, TC's not bad either. 
We had more or less cleared out the general area around Sewer Branch, meaning we were looking primed to get our operation underway. Now, while Gaz was doing the compound, I decided to start our tea operation. Now, I not only wanted to sell teas at the Walmart, of course, because the whole crux of a Walmart is to sell almost everything you can think of, but we also need them to farm the copious amounts of metal we would need for the actual store and the sulfur we would need to get rid of any competing shops. So this was a very important first step to developing our monopoly. You need the uh, um, fluid pump and switch, whatever the fuck it's called, the HTC as well. Fluid switch. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm literally just going to have it like now just connect all the pumps together and then i've got to do the tcs real quick i'd like to thank today's sponsor it'll only take a minute this video is sponsored by factor factor takes the stress out of healthy living they provide fresh ready prepared meals so you can spend more hours focusing on defending your base in rust than cooking long-winded home-cooked meals they shop prep cook and deliver to your door so that you can experience clean eating without the hassle but honestly, if you're like myself and you find yourself getting a little bit too degenerate in your rust wipes, that's okay because Factor's team of dietitians are always available to help you meet your goals with their nutrition coaching programs, something I like. As well as simply having tasty nutritious food, Factor is honestly just extra convenient for us gamers. They always make sure you have something nutritious at hand when you don't have the time to make lunch or dinner as you're focused on getting that juicy revenge story against your neighbors. Simply heat and eat a chef quality meal within two minutes, no prep or cleanup needed. So if you're at all interested, use my link or go to factor75.com and use code POGTESLAOCT50 for 50% off your first box. Make sure you click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen with your phone. Thanks for sponsoring today's video. Now, my first step was to build and secure a little pump base right down on the river, as close to our base as I could get it. All right, I got TC down here, done. I've just got to hook up all the power and everything. And I'm going to need your help, Gaz, to do the TCs going all the way up, I think. Right, I think that should work. I think all the power's hooked up. I just gotta get these fluid pumps pumping up into the TCs. Four, five, six, six. Yeah, so what we need... Do you want to bring a... Uh, so we need probably about... Let's do like five TCs to start with. I'm coming up to get shit as well. So we need five TCs and five windows to bring this water up. The next step to getting our hemp base up and running would be siphoning all the water from our now pump base all the way up to our compound. Now we wanted to have a big ass hemp base and this would be a target for groups to raid. So the closer we had it to our main base, the more secure it would be, meaning the bigger we could make it. All right, that's the first tool cupboard done. We just need another four and we should be done. Oh, finally. Okay, that's all the water pumping up here. So we should just be able to build a hemp base now and have water continuously pumped into all of our sprinklers. I think. I'm not really sure what design I want to go for here, but we need it to be at least a three by three. And we're going to build it pretty high, but we need enough room to be able to store all the berries we want. Oh, this is working. I don't know why, but it is. Okay, after a lot of tinkering and back and forth, I finally have it all watering. Now I'm just going to let these planters get a bit of water in them and let them get darker in their soil colour, and I should be alright to plant, theoretically. Now, with our hemp base more or less set up at this point, all I needed was some seeds to plant. And just as I was heading out to get those seeds, I noticed a base smack bang where I wanted to place our Walmart, meaning we had to get rid of the boys that had just moved in here before they had a chance to build up into something that would be much more expensive to get rid of. I want to have a look. They're like at, the, they're like at their base as well, so I don't care. Oh, that, uh, how oh we should raid that, dude. It's a new yeah, base being built right next to us. We should raid it right now. Fuck the grocers. It literally looks so shit right now. Alright. Should be able to see him from up here. 
Yeah, there's three on top. They're making a turret, but this is perfect where their turret is. Oh. They're all, they're all looking. They're all, they've seen us, I think. With the they've seen us, they've seen us. Three times. That guy's, they all, they all jumped down. They all jumped down. Hold up. No, no. Well, back, back up. He's back up. He just got, no, he just got out. Yeah, they got out. I think there's also one behind this close rock, by the way. A hazzy, yep. I think, is behind this close rock. To us. I, I saw him naked. One ran out left. Yeah, one's at that close rock on the left. There was a naked on this close right rock. There was. I'm just going really wide left. Yeah. What? I killed another. Nice. Okay. I'm on the roof. Rock. That has the one nearly killed me. Twice someone on the roof. I guess now. Wait, just naked going out to it. Yeah. Once. Dead. Nice. nice. He's on timer now, that one. That guy's gonna go for that body, Smokey. Yeah. That's very good. He's dead. He's, yeah, there's two in oh. the AK. No, 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 no. One guy coming up. You ever bring pistol bullets? Are you pushing? Are you. He's dead. Got him. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. One yeah. dead on roof. Nice, nice. They're trying to build. They're trying to build. No, no, that's fine. We, they can build that. They can build that. It doesn't matter. Well, it just gives them more cover as well. Yeah. Kill one. On they're on Tama. I reckon you run up and raid that. Let me get in. I'm a... gonna run up. Oh, oh. They're building like windows to peek it. That guy's low. Yeah, I know. Pixel. One's down in the back left corner. Try and splash the wood if you can. Try and One dead. Left side. He's on. Just. I've got a heal. Yeah, um, yeah. Do you have any spam oh. meds? Guy almost got macheted. Let me sec. That guy's like the last guy, I think. Is he gonna be open? Yep. Hit him. Twice in there. Down I'm one. I'm leaving HP. Down, down two. He's down. Nice. I've got to reload. Do you have any meds, guys? We're building up yep. top. Thank you. One naked, dead on there. There's a guy in there with rockets, guys. He's dead on the roof, dead on the roof. No, one has rockets on the roof somewhere. In that where you died last time, guys. I'm running up. Nading roof. They're inside, they're inside. Did you steal it? Oh, I'm low, I'm low. Hold on. I'm dead. Dead, dead. Got it. Killed him in there. I'm pushing in. You guys want to see? No, no, just no, no, steal just it. Just steal it, just steal it. Okay. Steal it. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Okay, hold up. I'm they're in there, dude. I'm oh, satcheling this. Oh, I must have got him. Don't, don't. Oh, roof, roof, roof. I'm down, I'm down. Am I alive? I'm getting up south base. Are you dead? I'm dead, I'm dead. Smokey's dead, Smokey's dead, Smokey's dead. I'm holding. It's just you. No, he got me. Good two. Good three. Oh, I'm running from his tunnel. One's on the roof still. He's running, he's chasing you, he's chasing you, I think. I've got no meds. He's chasing you, right behind you, he's right behind you. Ah! That's him. I'm inside. Yep. I think he got grabbed. Uh, I grub. Yeah, he did. He, he just got grabbed. The grub's around back, Tessa. Spot. I think grub died to the Grub died to the turret. Grub died to the turret, I'm pretty sure. I'm getting my kit. I'm getting meds. I'm going around the back to check for grub. I've got 12 bullets and I'm naked, okay. Kill him, kill him, kill grub, kill grub. Okay. I'm gonna kill Dude, I don't know how I managed to survive there, but God help me. I don't know how we just, in general, won that. Like, what? I got it all. I got it all. We're good. Oh, he's low. I have it he's from. Uh, is there some sort of traps here? There's still no, some no. traps down no, there. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, no, on no. him. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah. He's yeah. Gonna no. Just kill. Turn around. Okay, we're just gonna seal. Just, just fucking seal it. Okay, seal that shit. Just seal that. Yeah, just go. Wait, they definitely came from another base. See what I mean when I say that? Like, holy shit. That shit from meds in it. I don't oh, know. No, what was in the TC? Honestly, we caught a break here. Noticing this group as early as we did, they were obviously fairly big and had just moved here from somewhere else with a bunch of kits and a tier 3. 
But alas, I couldn't really dwell on this too much. I had to get back to farming and finishing up our hemp base. So that's just what I did. Bada bing, bada boom, time to get back to work. Okay, these all should be collecting water now, if I'm correct. Well, I might just plant these because I've just done a clone anyway of them and you can just harvest everything when it's ripe then. Yeah. With me finally completing our hemp base and us pumping out teas, I could set up a small early game shop selling these teas for crew. We would need a bunch of this so we could make more rockets with the sulfur we were about to farm with these teas. And well, the shop really didn't take long at all to start producing a shitload of profit for us, meaning there was obviously demand for this business on the server. So what should we sell? So or tea. What should we sell that? Do we want HQM? No, we want we crude. Need, I think we need crude, but like so low on logo. We'll and go you know, like one for like 80. Chunk one for 80 at the moment. Um, yeah. 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 Cause we're going to have a lot. Yeah. We just need crude real bad. We're going to be out of logo so quick. I think 100 crude for 1k cloth is about right. No, that's a pretty uh, good price. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good I'd so quick. So Evie actually set up this little auto smelter for us. So we could just spam out Ortiz and throw all of our sulfur and metal in here. And it pretty much instantly cooks with all of our large fernies. So it's really simple. And this is actually going to help us to smelt down any sulfur profit we get from our shop as well. Man, we are actually going to have so many teas in a few days. This shit's cranking out. Pop sold all the teas, but not the cloth. That's all right. Got a bit of crude here. It's nice. Having an early game shop like this pumping out product was good and all, but we wanted to set up a true Walmart, and we would need to get our hands on a lot more loot of all types, from grub guns to high tier loot. And the best way to do this is like any corporation, stealing it for pennies on the dollar and calling it for the greater good. So we got to work stealing absolutely everybody's loot we could. Killed him. This guy's just cherry picking sulfur. Holy shit. Meister. Teaching left. Got him. Nice, nice. You almost got me, actually. Yeah, these are the guys that raided. He's Can't hit see. twice. He's just has he right below. Is he running left to the road? No, like right in front of me. He's gonna be coming okay. up in front of you. Oh wait, he's there behind you. Damn. He's dead. Yeah. Other one dead. Two dead. Both dead. Yeah. Are you down now? I'm coming to you. Yeah, yeah. Nixo Woodridge. Killed this guy. Okay. Did you get that metal ore off that guy? Yeah. Nice, okay. Now we just gotta get up to Smokey's body. Yeah, well, no, I just need you to come loot your body, Smokey. That's about it. Yeah. And then we're good to All go. My bags are on timer. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, shit. Oh, he's AFK in here, look. Okay, oh. Wait, what's he doing? Let's see it. Oh my god, PC is stacked. Hey, guys, jump out of the way. I'm gonna rocket in there. Alright, I'm gonna hold those. Jump up. They got something. He's... I headshot him. He had a sorrow. <laughs> guys, do you wanna break that one? The. This one? Oh my god, look at bottom left! Holy shit. He's dead. Damn. Oh, Head under. Shot. Oh, hold up. Look on the ground here. I'm dropping it. Look at all that. Rude. Not a single bit of sulfur though, bit, or, bit weird. Oh well, we still got there. There we go, bottom left. Holy shit. That's pretty stacked. Yeah, very, very nice. loaded. Oh, we're gonna have to fucking like, seal this shit, so loaded. That's a really good amount of loot, but mainly lots of grub guns. I want to take every last bit of loot back to base. Nothing left here. Because we can sell everything. Yeah. I think I killed him. And they, oh, they got a tier 3. Oh, another one here. Got him. Okay, I killed him in oh, there. Is yeah, I killed him in there. Oh, farmer 1! everything. 
Oh, inventory of stone. Got a low grade. Oh, look at top left. Box of stone. Top left, top left. Yep. I'm breaking oh, yeah. master. You see. Yeah, TC's not like amazing, but it's alright. Over the course of the day, we stole shitloads, and I mean shitloads of loot from absolutely anyone we could, making us extremely loaded on everything. We moved every last speck of loot. But there was one major factor to this business plan I had that we hadn't really acted on yet. It was competition, the clearest hurdle to us monopolizing the shops on this server. We couldn't have anyone undercutting our prices and making their product more attractive. So we needed to go out of our way to raid any shop we could. And well, I decided to start with a large base on the coast that was actively undercutting our prices on my small shop, meaning they would probably do the same when we built our Walmart. And well, we just could not have that. I almost think we just go from the corner here, this left corner, and just pummel straight into the base. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, right here, guys. I reckon we can just pummel right here. Yeah, the turret, Elf, you go all the way up. I can be able to see what the front of this is. I can't see him. He's the at road. the Fanny base still. I got lost. Going in. TC. Don't Salt go I'm going up. Hot up. Got loot. You Just shotgun trap. Here? I don't have expo. Did anyone make it? Oh, I thought it was good. I'm dead, I'm dead, guys. Just loot my, loot my rockets. What? Oh, who's above? Is that... Spike, you can come up, you can come up. Definitely. I'm like Where's my AK? Oh. Anyone got an AK? Oh, AK I've got a spear one. Oh. Wait, right here. Right. This is low. This is low, guys. It all opens, so yeah. just okay, rocket that. Everyone, uh, what does it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, rocket everyone that. Everyone jump down. Everyone jump down. Yeah. Yeah, one more, one more. Right. one more. It's very low. Pushing up. Gone. Belly, belly. I'm, I'm breaking the seal. I'm breaking the seal. Right. Dead. 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 Okay, yeah. break that garage door there. I think that's all main loot. Guys. Okay. Push door, push door. Um, on. Yeah. Any means? Nah, nah, nah. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Alright, go on. Go on back to real rockets now. Oh yeah, I don't know why I said. Got all their beds up there. Yep. I'll go up. And, we'll go up and go to the. Beds. You, you got it. There's a there's an auto turret right above, guys. When you go up. Oh, sure. Go to the trap. Go to the trap. Okay, guys, go up no. and there's an auto turret right above. Oh my yeah. god, they're loaded. Oh shit. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Another okay. one. Oh, shit. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> that looked painful, that's all. Right above. <laughs> He's up here naked. I can't. Okay, sorry, guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. could you come down a level, guys, and just HV out this, yeah. um, oh, this shotgun trap? Nice. He's gone? I don't I'll know. Check. I'll check. Have a quick peek. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, this is so stacked. Nice, nice. Okay, can we uh hey, we'll just start moving this shit into the fob. Scrappy coco. Um, <laughs> a fob is uh, <laughs> uh it's yeah. been built. It's been built. <clears throat> With this shop gone, and well us loaded to a point it was honestly ridiculous, it was time to build our Walmart. But first, we needed a quickly found a wiper base that had unfortunately built on some land we needed to use. The hill? That's right where I wanted to put my... Okay. Ah, oh, I could have found it wiped that, I think. Maybe bring a few rockets yeah. and... Explo, guys. A few rockets yourself. Oh. Yeah, we're not going to quite have enough, but it'll be close. Oh, like a small box of metal or... Yeah, I saw uh, that. Kit behind you, to your left. Spray them, yeah. Yep, push them. Couple of them. I got I'm a cover, right. so I gotta kind of move. I'm going right. Cover. I'm going left. He's going right. One twice, dead. twice he walled. Did you just kill the one that walled? I'm dead. Yeah, I killed one. Just Do you have a, a bag here? Yeah, yeah. Headshot, double hit that guy, Evie. I don't know if he's down on the wall there and left. I've got a med, the guy back further shooting me. I might just try to push this guy hard left then. Almost killed that one. Kill him, kill him. Headshot him, I headshot him. I'm pushing the wall that I headshot the body. He's still alive. Got another one. Dead, dead, mine dead. Nice, no, okay, all no, dead. 
Now, keep in mind, these guys that kept coming over to counter us when we were founding this base, they lived on the other side of the valley from us, and well, they would actually play quite a big role in the rest of our story. But for now, it was time to crack on building a massive shop that was going to sell anything and everything someone could ever want. Okay, let's think about this for a minute. So, what you want is entrance. So, I was going to put... Ramps. I was going to put... Let's say... No, no, I was going to put ramps, entrance here, but then I was going to do like a triangle thing at the back right and let's say just vendies along here on either side that's right what I was thinking. big courtyard in the middle so put, yeah. put me some ramps here real quick so i can see yeah get a vision of it in my mind my mind's eye um right so i was thinking we could do maybe before we do the ramps we'll go like a little like i want like a little porch section here i guess porch with low walls yeah something like that on the other side do that, do it again, and then ramps right here. Okay, how are we going to do the... So this will be everything. How are we going to do the employee section? That's going to have to be pretty tanky. There's something like this, like a big employee section back here. That works, and then this is all honeycomb, and then we can throw everything in here. Uh, here do you want metal frags to start upgrading? I've got an armor door me. I'm just trying to think where I'm going to... I just want to get this. So we'll have employee entrance there. Evie, do you just want to depot all your shit inside the TC here, and then go back and grab more shit? Yeah. Try and bring a window back if you can. Gaz and I got to work building the hell out of this Walmart. It took us a little while to be honest here, but the result would be worth the effort, I promise. And then that front, that'll have a big Walmart letters on it. Oh, this is looking sick. Yeah, that, like a wall here. And we'd put a sign up here, weapons, right? And then we'd put a wall here, just like section it off into twos each way. Like a voting so, booth. Yeah, so it's like, oh, this is weapons. This is clothing. Put a half wall there. Put a half wall there instead. Oh, yeah, yeah, that might be better, or, yeah. And then, or try and then maybe just a, just low, a wall. low wall. Just yeah. a low wall. Yeah. Hundred percent. And we could just put turrets up here and then up there, yeah. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll get turrets sorted then. I'll go up the base. I'll get some turret shit sorted. Do you guys want to start like honeycombing this inside and making it how you want to make it? Yeah. yeah so I'll like, do. second room, second floor is. I'm making boxes right now. Loot. Third floor can be beds, and then obviously fourth floor is the shooting floor. So, and then maybe first floor just like honeycomb the shit out of the first floor to make the TC really hard to get. Just we fully honeycomb need. the first floor. We needed to make this Walmart defendable. We were about to move a fair bit of product here, and this would put a decently large target on our back, meaning we needed to do everything in our power to make sure it was secure, not only for our customers, but for us to store loot in as well. So the next reasonable step here would be to set up auto turrets on peacekeeper mode, so people would be able to shop in peace. I'm actually going to go to the effort of making the wiring nice and neat since the shop. Okay, we are, all the turrets are hooked up. I think I'm happy with how this is now. I think what we want to do now is, yes. yeah, go do a couple of raids, get some gears, and come back. See this picture. Oh, wait. Actually, do you want to go get the shit for the turrets? Because I want to turn them on. So they don't like, um, so someone can't come up and hit them out, you know? Look at that from the front, look at from the front, look how cool too. that looks. And we'll have a big sign up there that Smokey will do. Our shop was looking bloody good here, nearly fitted out completely, but we were missing something of vital importance, the actual vending machines themselves. We didn't have enough gears to completely fit out the shop, so we went on a quick raid to fix that problem. We'd get even more stock while we were at it. And I'll just pummel the side. Yeah. Which side? I'm going this side of you. Yeah. It's open. He's in there. He went in the armored door. He could get up. Hold on, I'm gonna see for this. Do you wanna see for that? Uh, rocket that? Oh, <laughs> rocket that. That blew up. What? What? I'm a sheep. Okay, ready? Oh my god, I'm dead, yeah. but I got the I got the C4 down. He's opening garage doors above. Who's got my AK? Anyone? 
I've got an AK. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I picked it up. He's right above, ready. You see? Okay. I got him all. Yeah, I got. I got up there now. Oh yeah. It's <laughs> Where's that? Um. Yeah, just stone. But like this one has a bunch Being of stone. Stones. No, I can't. I think maybe we should go out and try and kill these guys. Diesel, Any... just put. I'm putting your shit as well in the boat. Yeah, yeah. A stack of gears, guys. Now we had all the gears we would need and we got to work placing every single vending machine down. And now with them all being down, all that was left for us to do is fill them to the brim with all the loot we wanted. I'll take Jackie's. We'll sell Jackie's for sulfur. Again, SARS. I don't think I get a good fight out of it. Two rows of Hazzies. Ooh, maybe we should do some gears as well. Sell some shit for gears. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my <coughs> the first. I'm gonna start broadcasting as I put shit in there. So this section is gonna be guns. I'm doing SARS. So what should we sell SARS for? Oh, that they have how much? For the how much for a rad suit? Like 100 so far? Yeah, like 100, 150. Yeah. And then we'll do jackhammers for 100 so far. Huh? Yeah, or a jackhammer for maybe 300. 200. 200, 200. Uh, I think you're a bit of. I'd pay, okay. I'd pay 300 for it, happy. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do clothing as well, so somebody can buy like a full clothing set. Uh, I'm gonna put 556 five, and meds in this one. We just need pistol bullets. So, um, 5 5, yep. Sulfur. Let's do, so 350 sulfur for 25 5, I think. Or we'll go 35. Now, it took a little bit with a lot of discussion on prices and what we actually wanted to sell. However, we nearly had every vending machine fitted out from high tier loot to one that you could buy a complete roaming kit from, walls and all. So this basically was a one stop shop for anything you would need in Rust. So it was about time we actually opened our doors to the public and started rolling in that sulfur. See, a bunch of those vendies are still empty. Should we put stuff in them? Do we anything we can sell? Can't really think of anything at the moment. Oh, someone's already said. Oh wait, Walmart is open for business. Buy every item. What are we selling? Guns, clothes. Yeah, yeah everything. Yeah, walls on walls now. Oh. So now. Yeah. Now we wait for our first visitor. Can we make a drone? No, nope. I don't think drones can come in. No, we do no drones. We're just gonna do one on the roof. No drone. It really didn't take long for our first customer to come walking through the door, but we really needed to build trust. The only way anyone would come here is if everybody could trust us, and we needed to build that trust. Hey man! Hey! Is he? You're our first customer! Hey. Oh, I, I don't have any sulfur, I just wanted in. I just wanted to check it That's out. It's all good. Oh, we need lights in here, don't we? We need campfire. We need campfire. Uh, cool. Yeah, like, we're actually trying to make this a legit thing where people come in and shit. So, like, yeah. Spread the word. Spread the word. Go tell. Yeah, but I don't think... It, yeah, the only problem is no one's going to trust you. You can... Yeah, I know. It's, it's about building a brand reputation, man. All we need is one person to trust us. Yeah. And then we've got the rep, you know? Pretty good prices, though, right? They're competitive. Come over here. Look at this. Look at this shit over yeah. here, man. Unconcerning, yeah. yeah, I can get, yeah, what, yeah. How the hell are you guys selling rocket? Bro, I've been raided twice, I've been pissed off. Is there anything in particular you want us to sell for you? Look, you can buy a full kit with ammo, um, meds. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, we got jackhammers. Oh, Yo, maybe like we, we need chainsaws. chainsaws. Yeah, chainsaws. He's right. The like the most difficult part is going to be people trusting us. But as soon as we get like a couple people trusting us, it'll be like, oh yeah, okay. Our shop was instantly noticed on the map. I mean, how couldn't you notice 10 plus vending machines popping up within an hour? And people were curious. However, some people weren't very trusting initially, specifically because some individuals were talking shit in chat about our store, spreading rumors. And well, we would need to handle that. But first, we needed our first customers. By the way, we're going to be our main customers. Yeah, good. I want to see. 
No one's bought anything yet. Be the first buy. You're gonna sell out, bro. No, no, no. You guys are gonna sell out. Our teammates bring. Our teammates bring so much sulfur back. Oh. Teammates bring a lot of sulfur. So. Wait, wait. Apparently, someone's bringing a heap of sulfur right now to buy a bunch of shit. I don't know what to buy there. There's everything. I wanna make a purchase. I wanna make a purchase. Hey. There's ammo over here. If you want ammo for your SARS, there's ammo and there's meds. Oh, yes. In stacks of 35. So you can literally just insta get ammo. These few blokes were our first customers, and well, thankfully, they actually spread the word that our shop was in fact safe and not some sort of trap. So this attracted more and more people flocking to the store for anything they could buy. We would even do several behind closed doors purchases. But the icing on top, the people that were discrediting our store in the first place even popped by. Uh, right, Jeff, hey mate. Yeah. yeah. Gonna take for the small bases. So that people yeah. come back and buy from us. Hey Jeff. Hey man. Hey Gray again. Never been my jackhammer. Now, Jeff here was one of the people spreading rumours about our business, and alas, in Rust we can't take him to court for defamation, so instead we decided to take all of his loot. Oh yep. yeah, it's him. Yep, go. Jump back. Uh, okay. Go on. <laughs> he opened a door on me. This is airlock right here. Armored, armored door, he just opened the door. Nice. Oh, he closed it? He closed. Can, you, can you? Okay, well. Watch that right door, L. He can open that big armor door on, on you. On He's dead. He's dead. He's loaded as well. Now spam the shop and chat. <laughs> he can come buy it back. Oh, they actually okay, stank. With some bad business being handled, we took their loot and added it to our shop. Look, they could always come by and buy it back in the future. Now, to say our shop was a success here, it would be an extreme understatement. We got over a box of sulfur from it within an hour of opening, and well, Gaz even added some voice props to each store so he could project his inner salesman. Surely you guys can sell some food. Hey, do you like SARS and having fun? Now honestly, we did have a few other pesky rats try and grief our store, but seeing as we had all the sulfur we could ever need, it really was nothing to get rid of them. Just a small hiccup in our profit margins. He's shooting everyone. It's pissing me off. I'm trying to buy from your shop. I'm trying to buy all your sars. You, you lost like you got three, you lost three customers already. They're asking for support, they're asking for managers. What do we need to do to get rid of you? Oh, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> oh, um, you know, to red bears, red bears. I am no, not no, taking um... bribes. I am with the uh, government. I am evicting you. You have unethical business practices. Okay. Guys, you got rockets? We only need, like, uh, it's three rockets. Three, three or four rockets. Three doors. I can make eight. Just run straight to us. Well. You can splash it. Oh my god. Are you right up there? Are you trying to- Dead. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Now he's on timer. Can we just do the front one and I'll hold there? Go for it. Okay, go in. Into it. Just run in, just run in. Okay. He was he was gonna try and seal this TC in. Let's just get rid of that TC. Now honestly this process went on for around 24 hours, just us restocking our shop and selling anything we had for sulfur, basically producing a sulfur making machine, which honestly made me realize we were just in a vicious cycle of raiding random groups only to sell their own loot back to them, rinse and repeat. We had become a big corporation with no limits to our greed and nothing would satisfy us. So I decided to break this cycle. I ended up lowering all the prices to every shop to almost free so anyone could buy whatever they wanted. 
and deciding to move on to our next adventure. I needed something more fulfilling. I needed to be the underdog again, not the bully. Thanks for watching, boys. I'll catch you in the next one.